covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. So we broke a record for cold. Now it's snowing all over the place. We're seeing it all. Yeah, records are falling all over the place, and now snow is falling all over the place. But yeah. the snow will come to an end later on tonight, and that means skies will clear. And that means colder weather will push back in to northeast Wisconsin as we move through the weekend. High temperatures the next several days will be running 20 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of year. But after that, it looks like we will see a little bit of a warm up. Temperatures getting close to 30 degrees by next Thursday and Friday. Well, this morning, temperatures were close to 30 degrees below zero. In fact, many spots did get down into the 30s below zero. In Lando Lakes, it was 33 below zero. The coldest spot in the NBC 26 viewing area was Anago at 30 below. It was 25 below in Peshtigo and in Green Bay, it was 21 degrees below zero. That was a record low temperature and the coldest temperature for so late in the season in 52 years. Right now we are looking at much warmer conditions compared to what we saw this morning. Many spots are running 30 to 40 degrees warmer than what we woke up to. It is 18 degrees in Kiwani. We've got 19 in Manitowoc. It is currently 18 degrees in Fond du Lac. It is warmer because we have a southwest wind and that southwest wind is pumping in some moisture. You can see the snow falling out of our live Green Bay Tower Cam and you can see the snow falling on NBC 26 Precision Radar. It is mainly moderate snow but there are some some pockets of heavier snow mixing in from time to time. When all is said and done by later on tonight, most areas will end up with about two to four inches of snow. All the snow is being produced by an Alberta clipper, which is passing to our north. You can see the snow extends from east central Wisconsin back into southeastern Minnesota. So it is going to snow for the rest of the day. You can see that on a precision cast at 10 o'clock, still snowing across most of the viewing area. That snow will eventually come to an end after midnight. We'll see clearing skies towards tomorrow morning and then another system will approach from the south as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening and that means we will have the chance for some more snow. Now the vernal equinox is on March 20th but as far as weather records are concerned the first day of spring is tomorrow which means today is the last day of meteorological winter in the northern hemisphere and as things stand right now it'll go into the record books as the coldest in a hundred years the second coldest on record. So tonight, snowy and much warmer with some clearing late overnight lows around five. Tomorrow, March comes in like a lion with high temperatures running 20 to 25 degrees below normal. We'll see sun and clouds during the morning, some light snow as we wrap up the day. Staying cold for Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. Look at those morning lows, well below zero. Maybe a little bit of light snow on Wednesday and then warming up as you take a look at the rest of your 10-day forecast. You can see warmer weather as we head deeper into March and that's what you would expect, Casey. Warmer weather, not warm, warmer. Warmer, and I'll take Warmer. that at this point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cameron. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6. Stay